I can't do that shit. I can't keep a serious face no, off it, for nothing. It, 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 it takes practice. Watch. Yeah. Me? <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. We'll go in order. Here we go. Here. <laughs> All right, one more time, one more time, one more time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a lot harder than it looks, folks. I'm done, I'm The fuck, dude? <laughs> Uh, what's good? We're coming to you live. This is uh, Q5.com. You know what it is. Your boy Tone Deaf. I'm here with Pack FM. Gio. I'm here with Substantial. Gio. Yeah. And uh, Session isn't here because Session is the latest, fucking laziest Puerto Rican Spangra motherfucker ever. <laughs> we're here and we're doing our 2007 or Q2007 uh, year end wrap up video podcast. This was Pack's idea. Yes. And why did you want to do this? Because I didn't want to do a wrap up. <laughs> He's such a nigger. <laughs> it's not that. Honestly, I wanted to do it because um, we get a chance to actually sit and talk because we've developed a really more personal relationship with the fans this year. So I figured rather than do a song or something like that, I think we should really just, you know, get a chance to show them how we've kept the year. Basically, how we're going to base this is I went through the forums, and this is so that the community knows all the blue schoolers are involved in what we talk about here. I went through the forums, I looked at the topics, the things that happened in 2007 that I thought were of note. I figured I'd write it all down, and that this would be a good way to uh, kind of get the uh, artist's perspective on everything. So, uh, first things first, I have to do something because this is really important. Uh, let me see one second. I wanted to present the first copy of Substantial Sacrifice to Substantial. This is the wow. first one that he's seen. <laughs> Such a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> you alright, Tom. You alright, man. <laughs> So, this is, by the way, this is the first time that he's seen this uh, actual album in his hands. Yeah, man. Y'all understand, man, that the amount of years I've been working on this, this shit. You're in it. This shit. Here. <laughs> yeah, man. Open it, man. Okay. Oh. Oh, that shit look pretty. CD's levitating by itself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Check what I did for y'all, man. This is just for y'all. Insert your name here. Right where the X is. Put your name right there. You are appreciated. Substantial. Substantial Sacrifice will be in stores January 8th. Worldwide QM5 Music. Cost distribution via HBD label group. You know what the fuck it is. Buy that shit, please, for the love of God. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put up mortgage on my apartment. And I don't even know that that's possible. <laughs> well, we started off the year on a good note. Early January, Pac got the, the award from UGHH um, for best underground hip hop.com album of the year. Which is, which is accomplishment. Yeah, that was that was a really big look because um, during the process of that album, like a lot of things that didn't go as planned, and I was worried about the way it was going to be received. So it was good to see that the fans actually came out and supported me. And not only did it win album of the year, but if you check the records, it was in the top sellers for about six months in a row. It actually showed me that people out there supporting. You know what I'm saying? Like that album was distributed by us. We didn't have the Koch situation when we put that album out. So. Yeah. Everybody who got that album got it from us personally, mm -hmm. damn near, you know what I'm saying? So, and it just gave me a lot of motivation to do a lot of things. I was happy also to be able to go out on the road with that album, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Me and um, kind of linguist. This is the part that I love about performing when you perform and they know the words, you know what I'm saying? It really showed me that the album hit. Like if you look on YouTube, there's a part where I'm performing What Does FM Stand For? And they're singing the words, and it just threw me off because I didn't even realize that people like really caught on like that, you know? Right. You know, I, I thought you had a lot, a lot of momentum going at the beginning of, of 2007. You were getting a ton of press for the record. Yeah. You were out on the road and doing some things, and like even working with Domingo on his record, right. and a, a lot of shit on Astros Four. Like you were really, really hitting dudes in the head real hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? With 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 material. And I mean, you even worked on, you know, the, the song with, you know, Slug and Brother Ali. A big thing uh, for you, if you notice, like on our YouTube channel, yeah. uh, those of you who those of you who haven't gone to our YouTube channel, check it out, YouTube slash Q and 5. One of our biggest uh, viewed videos is is the clip where you're we're on Bass Mentalism Radio and you, and, you, and you say, uh, you fucking hate rappers, and then you, you cited Lil Wayne as a... As, a, as an example. You weren't hating on Wayne. <clears throat> Can I explain that but, one more time for those who haven't seen it? <laughs> Wayne has made some decent songs, decent records. I'm not saying I hate Lil Wayne in that sense. I'm just saying, 
<laughs> I'm saying when you got a person like Lil Wayne and Baby and that's what you're going to hold as your standards as to what the best is, you know what I'm saying? Then we've got a big fucking problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like some Lil Wayne songs, but for real, if that's your standard for what the best is right now, then we need to fix that. So I'm just going to take this album to um, explore what I feel needs to be done. This is actually another highlight for me of, of 2007 is, is the launch of the QN5 YouTube channel. Right. We got over 60 videos currently uploaded right now. Behind the scenes blogs, entertainment shit. We got... You have a drunk Amy Winehouse. We got it. <laughs> Speaking of which... Y'all got so much hate for Son. Oh, but hold on. But this, this is a point. This is a point that I have to make about that. That little stupid clip, because that's part of the Haltsford vlog that we right. did, right? That was just one stupid clip that I uploaded separately because I just wanted to see yeah. what the difference was. So... The point is, basically, if you do a music video that you spend time on, you do fucking uh, shots and you spend money on it and you do setups and you invite people out, you do choreography, cinematography, you got a song, you fucking spend time writing the song, edit the shit, the whole process, okay? You'll get 8,000 views for your video, <laughs> right? If you get a fucking shitty digital camera and you tape a drunken drug addict bitch on stage <laughs> and, and you say, hey, I don't understand you. Right. That shit gets 40,000 hits on YouTube. Lady, because you're not there. No, I'm not. And the funny thing is, people don't know that we performed like right after and shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and Pac included a little line about her in the freestyle. Yeah, yeah. Look, with the feet, Andy Wright helped with the fucking bitch with drugs. Oh, and she forgot all her words. She was doing that on stage. You that shit is absurd. Yeah, and, 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 and this is something that we've never done before uh, in, in, in Q and 5 is, you know, done a lot of videos before this year this year was a big year for us to do videos i mean the stomp video in 2006 was a great fucking video but you know kind of linguist has never done a video they released four albums and two mixtapes you know what i'm saying this year in 2008 you will see their very first video substantial had a video you know what i'm saying you know you had spell it with a k this year pack you will look at something like uh, fucking uh, Tay Zande getting millions of hits and it's like, yeah, that's fine or whatever, but I think 12,000, do you know 12,000 people? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I man. So that I don't, the new E fan record, man. We, that should be crazy when we do it, man. I, I think, I think, I think I like the new cover right there we got. That shit's gonna be really hot. I like the new title too, man. I yeah, like the title we were throwing. So, hey guys. What? <laughs> huh. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up hey, Session, how's it going? <laughs> I'm here! Session is here! It's 3.40, uh, we're out of here at 4 o'clock. We started at 2. And who just got here? <laughs> <laughs>